this is going to be a quick look on the CR48 Chrome OS notebook. Okay, before we open this, we're going to look at what you get on the side ports. On the left side, you receive a VGA port right here. You have a small vent for your coolant of the Atom processor. You have a left speaker right here. On the back, you see there's nothing but your hinge. On the right side, you have your power ports, a one USB port, a headphone port, a SD card reader, and your right speaker right here. On the bottom, you just have a little vent. You'll latch your battery right here. Under this battery is a spot for a SIM card. And that's about it for connectivity options on this laptop. As we open up, you will see the laptop right here. And if you open up, it automatically actually turns on. Like you see. And if you notice, that's how fast it is on. Right there. And in a later review, please subscribe if you would like to see more videos on this specific device. Now to show you some quick stuff on the keyboard. I'm going to turn it to macro. You can see the keyboard, you don't have a Windows key or such to control alt keys are much bigger. Instead of a caps lock, you have a search button right here. Top, instead of function keys, you have a back, forward, refresh, full screen button, switch, window button, brightness controls, volume controls, and your power button. And it's just a standard keyboard all from that. You have a nice large multi-touch trackpad as well right here. And for the specs of this laptop that I didn't say before, you, it comes with an Atom processor, it comes with 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a 16 gig solid state hard drive. Not that you really need the hard drive for much anyway on this specific type of laptop. It comes with Wi Fi, 802.11n, G, and B built in. It has 3G from Verizon built in as well in the US. If you like, want AT&T or T-Mobile, you will be required to buy a SIM card, stick it in the bottom, get AT&T and T-Mobile, or other various wireless carriers across the world. On this specific, this is a um, test release model, and they, I think when you actually buy it this coming summer, uh, for right, right now it gives you 100 megabytes free Verizon data every month so you could just be going down the road if you wanted to turn it on 15 seconds check a web page turn it back off you can do that without having to connect to Wi-Fi and it gives you 100 megabytes which for web browsing can last quite a while web browsing video watching will last like a couple minutes it won't last long for video watching so don't plan on watching videos over it just plan on web browsing and you should be fine if it your data if you use it at all. But overall that's a this is the Chrome OS notebook. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.